Hi folks and welcome back to Providence. We are here in Providence's aft cabin. I am Captain Sam and we are going to be doing a short video today in honor of Women's History Month. Now, Providence was the first vessel authorized to be inducted into the American Continental Navy, but before that she was a merchant ship. So we are going to talk about the first woman to be in command of an American merchant ship. Now, the woman's name was Mary Ann Brown Patton, P-A-T-T-E-N, not like the general, no relation. And she was the wife of a captain on board a merchant vessel named Neptune's Car, which is a fun name. In 1856, her husband collapsed from fatigue, is the official reason, and she assumed command. She was in command of the vessel for 56 days, bound from Cape Horn to San Francisco. She was able to successfully nav navigate the vessel to San Francisco. She successfully put down a mutiny. She did all of this while 19 years old. And when she got to San Francisco and they docked the boat, she was eight months pregnant with her first child. So that's a lot of achievements stacked on top of one another. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how did she do that? How do you navigate in those circumstances? And how do we navigate now? So we'll start with a little bit of theory on how you navigate in those circumstances. By the 1850s, celestial navigation was a prevalent thing. Sextants had been invented, they'd been around for quite a while, and they were in use. So celestial navigation is an option. We are not going to demonstrate that today, but what we are going to do is a modern method of finding our point, the point where we are on a chart. So what we've done is we have cheated a little bit and pulled our coordinates off of our GPS and we are going to put them on the chart so everybody can kind of see how that works and how you do it. So I have our coordinates written down. They are 38 degrees, 48.38 minutes north and 77 degrees, 02.28 minutes west. So we will find that on our chart. So along the side of every chart, is um, denotations of the degrees and minutes. And each minute is the equivalent of one nautical mile. So we are 38 degrees, so we're in the right, right ballpark, uh, 48.38 minutes. So this is 38.50, uh, so we're gonna go 4948.38 minutes north. And now we have this really handy little thing which tells us tenths and hundredths of our minutes. So I am going to find three eight. So one, two, three, there's four. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to have to put that on my chart. I'm using just a straight edge uh, with a 90 degree bend, and I'm going to use that to find the line of latitude that we are on. So along here, we decided uh, three eight, four eight minutes, point three eight north. So I'm going to take my square, and I am going to line it up with this line of reference. It's just part of the chart and it's a straight line. So I know if I line up my square on that line of reference and I move it down to where I touch that point, we are somewhere, if I do it carefully enough, we are somewhere along this line. Now at this point, I can take my pencil and I can mark that line and remove the square, but I like to do it the following way because it results in fewer marks on your chart. And if you're gonna be reusing the chart, that becomes important. So seven, seven. So along our top edge here <laughs> is uh, seven, seven degrees, zero, zero minutes. So we are seven, seven, zero, two. So from there, we'll go one, Two, remember it gets bigger going west, 0.28. So again, I'm going to go to my reference a little bit back and forth here for a second. And I'm going to measure in the longitude bar, 0.28. All right, so I'm gonna come back, zero two is here. I am going to find the extension of that line. And it's a little bit tricky sometimes because uh, they are often very faint. Yeah, here's our line and we're going to go just a touch west of that. And theoretically, if we did this right, we are at that point, which is great, but that alone isn't super useful. So we're going to mark that. We're going to move our 
triangle or, or dividers. We're going to mark the point where we believe we are. And because we got this fix electronically, we're gonna put a little triangle around it. Helps us find it. Now, navigation is heavily dependent on time. So I'm going to write the time that we took this plot. Not the time I managed to finish it, but the time we took the coordinates, which was about 1130 on this bright and sunshiny morning. So that is how you find a position on a chart. From there, you can continue to take your electronic position from your GPS every hour and clock out where you've been. So that's it folks, that is how you take your coordinates and you put them down onto a chart so you can refer back to it and determine where you were at that time. Uh, join us next time for more super fun videos here at Tall Ship Tuesday on Providence. I am Captain Sam, thank you for coming and we'll see you next time.